Good morning, everyone. There's Mr. Jim. He just came out of the house. He's working on a project in the house. Of course, he's going to spoil his girls. <laughs> and I got to introduce you. She survived. There's our little fluffy butt. She's out in the garden with me. She's loving it. What are you doing? She's ready. She's tired. She's not used to being so active because she's with us in the house. So she's like, I need a napping spot. She's made a little nest there for herself. Now she is from our adopted chicken. Look at this. Cody, leave it. Leave it. See that, guys? That's what a trained, well-trained dog needs to be able to do. Walk away. He's very interested. I don't think he would hurt her, but we've been very careful because um, Ginger, somehow, she got out of her crate and was under our wood box, and Ginger was trying to get to her, so we don't trust Ginger with it. Yeah, she's trying to sand bath. <laughs> you silly little girl. She's spoiled, guys. Okay, what am I doing today? I can tell you I'm a little under the weather. Um, having major potty issues. But, I'm out here in the garden anyway. And it could be from the heat. I don't know, but I'm feeling really exhausted today. But what I did, I came in this back corner. And I planted pole beans along the fence here. And I brought them up here. I'm going to continue them all the way down if I can. If I can stay out here that long. And while I'm working in this corner, I am planting bush beans as well. So I'll have pole beans here, bush beans throughout this area. And I just opened this area up. You can see there's pole beans going in there. And I left the, the, the trenches open so I can see where the trenches are. So I can do my next trench and try and keep them as straight as possible. I have been using <laughs> that little chicken. So funny There's my free Rangers. <clears throat> they want to get in here. I'm glad they haven't figured out how yet, but they would like to get in here because this is full of earthworms guys. I can't tell you what I pulled all the weeds up and shaking the dirt off the weeds to keep the good dirt. How many earthworms? that I found. I did toss one to the chickens. Good, Cody. See how close he is to that chicken, guys? He will look at the chicken. I think he's worried about the baby being outside. He tends to be a little bit of a, a mama dog, you know? If you're so worried, just lay over here next to her, Cody. But he totally walks... He's been in the goat pasture with the goats. He's actually played with Bella. Look at him. All right, leave it, Cody. Take a walk, buddy. Go. Did you see him perk up? <laughs> I haven't taken him for a hike in so long. I can't even tell you. It's heartbreaking. But anyway, I'm planting bush beans and pole beans. And then my goal is to get on the other side of the garden and... If I, my, my energy level doesn't fade on me real fast in this heat, I just don't know. But I want to get some more corn planted so we have two pickings of corn. So that's kind of what I'm doing today. All right, I'll bring you back when I get some more done. Okay, guys, I'm taking a break. <laughs> but you can see I got... One, two, three more rows of beans in. I covered these rows. I got one, two, three here. So that makes six rows of, these are the bush beans. And I'm planting contenders. And here's the package. These are from MI Gardener. And they come with complete directions and my, um, Pole beans are Kentucky Wonders. My packages are a mess, but I'm hoping to use this package up today yet. We'll see. So I got a few left in my hands of the, the bush beans. 
I'm going to try and get a partial roll in. And then I've used up one, two, three, four packs of bush beans. The shocking thing is I got more beans for my money from MI Gardener than I did from my local seed supplier, which is Walmart, basically, for me. So the packs of seeds you get at Walmart, you're paying sometimes close to $2 for. And I got mine for... 99 cents from M.I. Gardner. Got twice as many seeds from M.I. Gardner for less money. It just blows my mind how these big box stores take advantage of us. I will, if I remember, guys, I'll put a link to M.I. Gardner in my description. So if you're looking to get some seeds for your gardens for maybe next year. For me, I can keep buying seeds all year round down here. And I have a very long growing season. So I'll keep planting this garden probably until a month before the last frost, the first frost. And then I'll start a month before the last frost if I get my butt in gear this coming growing season. But um, I'm getting there, I'm getting done. I hit a nest that looked like a bunch of little spiders. I don't know if you can see that. Look at those. Do you see that? Tried to get my little chick chick here to eat them, but she's not interested in them. In fact, she's feeling a little clingy right now. Look, she's right here by my... <laughs> yes, I'm sitting on um, some of the weeds I pulled trying to stay out of the main dirt, but... Look at me, guys. This is me. I'll get a shower early. But the nice thing is I can just hit one of the rain barrels and rinse off. It's not a big deal. But the beans are almost in. All right. Got to get back to work. I got a lot to get done here today. As long as my energy holds up. <laughs> my back is doing so much better. I can do so much more in the garden right now. Look at this. Get out of there, chicken. Shh. I got to throw something at her. <laughs> no, I won't. But I will chase her. I don't want her thinking the garden's open to her at all. That's probably one of my rescue hens that just showed up and we threw them in the coop. <laughs> All right, back to work. Okay, guys. The pole beans are all planted. I ran out of seeds, and I took them all along behind everything else along that fence. So, beans are planted, finally. I should have got them in months ago, but we'd have a crop by now if I had. And I lost my little chicken. I think she's over here. In the mustard greens. Let's go see if we can find her. My carrots are doing great though. I haven't thinned them or anything. They kind of naturally thin themselves. Yes, big red. Big red. Hey, chicken little fluff butt. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on, fluff butt. Come on. <laughs> she doesn't like being picked up. <laughs> But I gotta get her into the area I'm gonna be working because this is the next section. There's the corn. I'm putting another patch of corn right next to it. And then from there, I'll judge whether or not I can get a third planting going. Cause our first frost shouldn't be till late November. So I might have time to get another whole patch in. We'll see. I'm running out of seeds, which is good cause I'm using them up instead of having them sit year to year and get wasted. All right. Unfortunately, I don't have a tripod, so bear with me. I'm going to get this patch cleaned up a little bit and then planted, I hope. <laughs> Be back in a few. Okay, guys, I got three ferals dug. Yep, I use my hands. <laughs> I propped up some of the corn, too, because I have enough decomposing um, bedding with chicken manure mixed in, which the corn should love. So I am working on a few things here at one time. I didn't plan on doing that, but since I was right next to it, I figured I might as well. So three ferals are dug. I don't know how many seeds or how far they're gonna go. If I get this done, then I'll move on to the next couple ferals and see how it goes. You can see a lot of sand. At this end of the garden, this end didn't get the layers like the other end did. But I still think it's going to do just fine because of all the manure that was spread in here during the winter. And I do plan on run chickens through here when the 
first frost hits and the plants die back, I'm going to run chickens in here to do the exact same thing they did last year, which was weed control and manure spreading. My chick chick's over there. See her? <laughs> She's wandering around. Chick chick, what are you doing? Chick chick, come on, fluffy butt. This guy's watching her. I don't know if you'd heard her, but we're not we will not take that risk. She's in and behind the fence with me, so as long as she doesn't wander too far, she should be fine. All right, back to planting. Got a lot to do yet. Okay, I got the three ferrules with seeds laying in them, as you can see. I think that's a little too close there, so we'll take that out. And I still have a few seeds left, so I'll definitely... Oops be going into the next set, but I'm gonna cover the back two rows and leave this one open so I know where I start and stop for the next row. So, and that's just, it's so simple guys, it's not hard to do. I'm just going to push some dirt over it and give it a little pat, that's it. And the pat helps the seed come in better contact with the soil. Any weeds, now's the time to pull them. It's just that easy, guys, because I don't have to push them into the ground because I dug a furrow. And there's my first row of corn. Let's do the second one. Yeah, my chick is getting hungry. She's chasing my hand around. Yeah, she's that spoiled. There we go. Now this will turn out to be about a four by four plot, four feet by four feet, which is the recommended smallest area you can do um, like sweet corn in. So that's why I'm doing it the way I'm doing it. So, all right, I gotta dig some more pharaohs. Be back in a sec. Okay, I got one more pharaoh dug, but I wanted to show you what's happening here. You see this? This is layers of pine needles, some hay, and you see how it's starting to kind of look a little moldy? That's good. That means it's going to break down. And then you see this stuff here, that's what's going to turn into really good um, composted soil. And you see how it breaks up real easy? It also holds moisture really, really good. And that's what makes a good garden, guys. My garden isn't perfect this year, but it's definitely come a long way from when we moved up here last May. All right, back to planting. I still got more to do. Okay, guys, I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven rows of corn planted. Win for the day. That's all I had my, my goal set on was to use up this corn. So I am good. Now I just got to cover them up like I showed you. And I'm going to call it a day. And of course, I need to go clean up. <laughs> She's staying right here with me. Silly little girl. I got a few of them right there. Yeah, they're eyeing up the garden. Don't even think about it. I'll put you in the stew pot. I really won't, but... They don't know that. Don't eat my potatoes. These are potatoes in here, guys. It's just a small patch. They're just potatoes. I bought one bag of seed potatoes just to see what they'll do. And I put them on top of the ground and then I've been layering the old hay over top of them. So we'll see, it's just an experiment. If I get five pounds of potatoes out of there, I'll be happy. That's a month's worth of potatoes for Jim and I. All right, Jim's running the weed whacker. All right, guys, I hope you like my planting video. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And I hope you have a great day, and God bless.